you just reminded me of one of the, one of their concerns is about my offer being low, mm -hmm. is potentially having higher um, tax liability mm -hmm. if they have some recourse debt. That well, even if it's not recourse, I, I guess is if the debt gets forgiven, you know, um, because there's the difference between what I pay for it and um, and their tax basis. There's actually it gets more complicated than that, but. Bottom line is, in certain situations, the lower it sells for, um, the higher the amount of uh, canceled debt mm -hmm. <coughs> that could be considered taxable. But um, um, there's there are a variety of exemptions in the tax code for not not saying that it covers every single situation, but if sellers look into it with uh, qualified advice from you know a CPA and so forth, and look into the they can just search it. Mm -hmm cancellation of debt income or something in the IRS website they'll find out that there's a, an insolvency exemption there's a, for the, the 2007 the debt relief act. yeah there's a 2007 I don't remember the exact name in 2007 there was a homeowners debt relief act passed um, I believe it might have raised some of the uh, limits uh, or the amounts of exemption that people can qualify for so that even though they have this amount of cancellation of debt income, it can become exempt from taxation. So I think people need to look more closely into those um, codes mm -hmm. to to see whether it actually whether and how much it actually matters that my offer is lower. Because most of the situations I've looked at, there was enough exemption there. Not everyone. In fact, Mesa Ridge is an example where I don't think there was enough exemption yeah. to cover them. But they were more concerned about not having a foreclosure mm -hmm. on their record and getting it sold. So, you know, the balance for them was, okay, greater tax liability versus foreclosure on my record, you know. Yeah. I think I'll take the greater tax liability than the foreclosure. Plus there's always, you know, with the IRS, there's always the, the last ditch effort is an offer and compromise. Let's say, okay, they say you owe, IRS says you owe them 100,000 in taxes, you go, Look at my financial situation. Right. How am I going to handle that? And then you do an offer and compromise. Yeah. Well, you know, with the help of there's people that specialize in that. Correct. So, I'm I'm assuming and hoping that that's what um, the seller in that situation will be able to do. Yeah. <coughs> so, anyway. That's good. Yeah. So, looking forward to uh, this coming week. We yeah. got we got some uh, deals to sink our teeth that's into right. and. Get them rolling. Help some people uh, get out from under a lot of stress and Yeah, and that's turmoil. a lot of what it is. When we come in, it, it does. It, I have one that I'm working with right now, and she just said thank you. You know, just because I can just release it and kind yeah. of let it go. And just to know it's being handled. Yeah, and let it know it's being handled versus what to do, and is it going to go to sale this week or whatever. And so she's just thankful that we're able to move forward and kind of help her out. Awesome. That's great. Okay. Good talking to you.